in Act 2, Robbie and Alexandra take care of Gemma. Gemma, sit. Good, Gemma. They want to find the dog's owners. So Robbie calls the ASPCA, the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. 555-7700. Hello, ASPCA. Later, Robbie and Alexandra go to the ASPCA for help, but they might not be able to find the owners. ID number. Without that, it's hard. What can Robbie and Alexandra do? Don't worry, Alexandra. We'll find the owner. How, Robbie? Let me think. Gemma, sit. Good, Gemma. Give me a paw. Good, Gemma. This dog is well trained. <laughs> she likes you, too. So how are we going to find the owners? With a little help from the ASPCA. Mm -hmm. The American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. They're the ones. We once found a cat. She was caught in the branches of our tree, and Dad called the ASPCA. They came and solved the problem. Robbie, let's call them. Let me see. ASPCA. Here it is. ASPCA Animal Shelter. 555-7700. Hello, ASPCA. Hello. My name is Robbie Stewart. I have a lost dog I'd like to bring to you. How late are you open? We're open till 9 p.m. Thank you. I'll bring the dog over by 9. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Goodbye. They're still open? They're open until 9 o'clock. We have two and a half hours. Let's take Gemma by there now. They'll find the owner. I hope so. I'm so sad to see this little dog without her family. I'm sure they'll find the owner. But if they don't, I'll adopt her. She's so cute. Look at those eyes. She's hard to resist. Don't you just love her? I'd like to keep her, too. But I'll be going home to Greece at the end of the semester. She just wants love and affection. Come on, Robbie, let's get her to the animal shelter so they can find her owners quickly. Don't worry, Jenna. We'll get you home. It's not easy being away from home. <laughs> Come on, Poochie. At a girl. Let's go. We're off to the animal shelter. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie Stewart. And this is Alexandra Pappas. Your name will do, Mr. Stewart. Your address? 46 Linden Street, Riverdale. Where did you find the dog? She found us. You tried calling the number on the collar? Yes. But the number is no longer in service. And there's no address on the dog tag? There's no other information. No ID number. Without that, it's hard. You will try to find the dog's owner. Oh, we'll try, believe me. And if you don't... Yes? If you don't, can I... Can I adopt the dog? Why, yes. If the owners don't claim the dog in 48 hours, then you can apply for adoption. How do I do that? You really want to? Yes, I'm serious. If no one comes to claim Gemma, I'd like to adopt her. 
It's not difficult. The dog. Where did you find the dog? The owner. I'm sure they'll find the owner. The problem is they need to find the owner of the dog. The number. You tried calling the number on the collar? The animal shelter. Come on, Robbie, let's get her to the animal shelter so they can find her owners quickly. The number is out of service, so the problem is they need to find the owner of the dog. And the hour is very late, but the animal shelter is open till nine. The dog, the owner, the problem, the animal, the number, the hour. You hear the before a consonant sound. The dog, the problem, the number. You hear the before a vowel sound. The owner, the animal, the hour. Wait! H is not a vowel sound. It's a consonant sound. But it's not the first sound. The H is silent. The hour. But what about the dog? Robbie has the idea to adopt Gemma if the owners, <laughs> the Levinsons, don't call the office. You hear the before a consonant sound. You hear the before a vowel sound. The idea, the owners, the Levinsons, the office. I just love the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. <laughs> the end.